Deuteronomy 5.20 Velo ta'ene berecha ed shave. We continue with the ninth commandment. And you shall not answer against your neighbor a worthless testimony. We can take a look at ta'ene. Now, this comes from the root letters, ein, nun, hey. So that's straightforward enough. But we see that there's a talk under the prefix pronoun, which may cause us to think this is a hifiel. However, remember, this is a peg guttural, and the um, demands of pronouncing the ayin, uh is explains why there's a talk under the prefix pronoun. So this is a kal, imperfect, 2ms and has the strong negative, uh, and you shall not answer. Berecha, this comes from the word reach, meaning friend or neighbor or the like, usually used in uh, uh, almost exactly in counterpart with uh, ach, brother. Now, we'll notice in this case that there is attached to the beginning the um, preposition b. And in this case, it has the sense of against, to answer against. And then at the end of the word, there's the cha, the two m as pronominal suffix, namely, namely your neighbor. Of course, the idea of worthless testimony or false witness really has a legal sense, but uh, this is going to have broader application than just legal sense. It can really be applied to all deception and lying. And when we compare Exodus 20 verse 16 and Deuteronomy 5.20, we notice a couple of differences. That in Deuteronomy it begins with a vav, conjunctive vav, and there's a different term, this term shava, worthless, a little bit different than what there was in Exodus, namely false testimony. But effectively, a false testimony and a worthless testimony in a legal context uh, are really just two ways of pointing to um, this sort of act against one's neighbor.